Alrighty guys, for today's video, I am going to be showing you how to win with Akali in Season 13. We're currently 10 and 0 in Season 13 on our main account. When you're injured, you deserve compensation. Did you know that there are over 5 million car crashes in 2020? That's more than 15,000 a day or 600 an hour. If you're in an accident, you are entitled to more than you think. That's why this video sponsor, Morgan & Morgan, has you covered. When you're injured, you deserve compensation and the size of your law firm matters. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury firm with over 800 lawyers and over 100 offices worldwide. The best part? Morgan & Morgan's fee is completely free unless they win your case. Over 3 million people trust Morgan & Morgan and getting started is easy. You can check out the link in the comment section for more information. I'll be showing you guys how to play optimal runes, build, all that stuff. So start with the runes. Every single time I play now, since the uh, durability update, I'm going for Conqueror. So. Conquer, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand. You can get a Presence of Mind if you're going against a bunch of tanks, but Triumph is good if you, uh, just as like a rule of thumb, it's like good, it's always gonna be good. Uh, other than that, I got Second Wind and Unflinching. Unflinching is because they have a good amount of CC. And uh, might as well throw an auto on that guy on the way out. I'm surprised he didn't auto me. Uh, but yeah, I actually got a kill level one and we lost our sums for it, but that's fine, because Akali... Uh, I'm just going to explain the essence of Akali right now. It's kind of dumbed down, but hear me out. As someone who is a challenger one trick that plays her non-stop all day, every day, it's really as simple as wait until you get to level 6 and then kill everyone. So, what I'm going to show you guys in the laning phase is literally just about, like, surviving. For the most part. I say that as I run in. Um... When your shroud's up, you can go for two little, like, small trades like that. And, uh... Nice. All good there. Be a little bit careful. I'm not gonna get this one. There we are! Alright, we're actually up in CS. Um, so what you want to do as a Kali pre-6 is literally just look to get as many minions as possible. Use your E, your Q, all that. Against melee champions, if they use their cooldowns, you do have a chance. But other than that, it's just going to be... Oh, ouch. It's just going to be about playing safe. Um, But yeah, for the build, I pretty much every game am going for Rocket Belt uh, and Zonia's. I think these items are truly always going to be good. Oh, oh. oh, I guess we're taking the cannon then. You can do it. Just, just. I mean, we're already. You literally already committed, so please take it. Ouch. I'm so confused with this, uh, Leona. Gonna go ahead and not fight with her anymore. All good. I actually could get a kill here. Nope. All right. Whoa. Uh, a bit crazy. Alright, we're going to get out of there now. So, uh, we have to spend a little bit of extra gold from the first blood. But yeah, it's pretty much just not dying without your cooldowns being... Uh, while well, your cooldowns are down. So, as long as I have my E or my Shroud up, it's genuinely pretty much impossible to die. Um, Obviously, you have to know cooldowns and like if they have like a Lissandra mid that hits level six you know maybe your range of death is pretty pretty big but other than that i mean just farm up try to hit level six get as many means as possible while you can and that's really it not that complicated i mean the combos themselves will be tricky what i would recommend is obviously just like watching gameplays of other people how we like high elo players play it you can watch like me or some like koreans but all right, level six now. Now we immediately look to roam. And there's like a pretty decent chance this is going to work. I mean, she's warding right there, but I'm just going to flood. There we go. Wow, nice. Got the E off. Perfect. And yeah, that's just one little trick right there. 
is use the red plant to get behind uh, the brush, because tri brush is warded, so if I run through it, it gives them like, you know, four or five seconds of a heads up. So I just avoid it. Um, nice. All right. Yeah, we're just going to go for the AP. Um, if I was like very behind right now against the Zed, I've actually tested this out a lot too. Some people might think if they're all AD or if you're behind, should you not get a rocket belt first? Should you get a Seeker's Arm Guard? The answer to that, in my opinion, is no. Because if you're half decent with the Kali, even if you're 0 and 3, there will be opportunities to catch back up in the game. So, yeah, with that in mind, all you gotta do is just learn how to play the champion. You know, I personally, I've one shot bad 10 and 0 veins as a. Ooh. As a uh, 0 and 3 Akali, as long as you farm up, have like one item, you can one shot up like a two item AD carry. Yeah, the vein is kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh man, that sucks. Got him. Nice. Yeah. Made it so no matter what, I get the kill because I use my R2 on him. So he has to use his W. And then I fly in with the E2. So if I did it the other way around, um, it would not have worked. So. Damn it. Ah. All right, I definitely butchered that one. Ah, unlucky. You gotta go for it sometimes. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take or something like that. Whatever. But yeah, that doesn't actually do damage to me because he's going for that Ravenous Hydra build. Which, I mean, yeah, it's going to be good for farming and he's probably going to uh, have sustain or whatever the point of that build is, but not going to stop us from uh, one-shotting his entire team, so. But yeah, I mean, Zed with Ravenous Hydra just shoves waves really fast. That's the whole point of it. But at the same time, our mid-game presence, because we're approaching the mid-game now, is just miles ahead. Akali, with a few AP items, is just so strong once you get level 6 and beyond. And if you go for Ravenous Hydra on Akali, because that was a build that's been like tested out here and there. I've tested it after it got nerfed, and personally, I don't actually like it, because you're just not as strong to snowball with. And the whole point of playing Akali is to snowball. So you don't want to like limit your capabilities. Um, yeah. Just going to go ahead and run over here, see if I can... Catch him on the rift or something. Yep, can. That's good. It's gonna reset. Even if I wasted a few seconds, it's like it didn't cost me anything. I'm gonna do it again just in case, because there's, there's a pretty good chance he's uh he's still on it. All right, he dropped a ward. Surprised that missed. Hmm. Ah, not quite. We're all alone by our lonesome. All good. We will do what we can. 
the best of our abilities we have good CS and that's honestly that's a big plus so I'm just gonna drop my shroud and this is a little pro tip while I'm healing up if my abilities are up um, I can throw my shroud far away and then use my E and then the second I'm full health I'll fly back into lane saving me like three or four seconds or something like that but yeah we're all about efficiency and not wasting time our team maybe not so much but we are <laughs> Go jungle. Could probably take that. That's a kill. Nice. Yeah, should be pretty free. I'm just gonna hardcore push this wave in. Oops. I have to drop the Q first. Nice click. I think. Yeah. I'm gonna run right out of vision and then cut back left. Just in case there's no ward here, I want them to think I'm not coming the way I am. It's better for Mordecai, so not scare him. And I'm going to steal a little bit of gold here. Alright. That's obviously warded. Bot lane is missing, we should run. And he failed this flash. I've got boots. He cannot chase me. Uh, I mean, it's a kill. It's a kill for Mord. Or maybe not, actually. Yeah, honestly, probably should have just ran. But they, I feel like they, my team wanted to fight. I don't know. All good. Must have been my bad. I don't know. I um, think I... Yeah, you know, I actually know. Leona jumped in, even though I pinged her back. And I had no cooldowns. But it is all good. I could have... Made my own decision and not done that. Olaf is very fed. Uh, I think they're on that, so there's no way he can get stopped from doing that. I might try my best to get there in time. It's not going to work, but... And surely there's no point in continuing on that. Yeah, I'm going to push the wave then. Amazing. Oh, he missed another Q rip. Nice. That was huge, okay. <laughs> we saved him, I think. Uh, he's able to get Triumph off. Or just killing one in general will do, make it a lot easier. Alright. Got the wave. So far, so good. I mean, obviously, we've roamed quite a bit. CS is not so perfect anymore, but it's still higher than Zed's. I think that's the important thing. Plus, our kills are. But yeah, so far, so good. Now all we gotta do is just keep shoving wave, look to roam. We literally are just gonna push, then back up. And I think this is where a sweeper would be useful, but there are so many plants everywhere. I think Jana might be there to ward. Oh, she did. We were too late though. And we got him. 
Quick little one shot. Uh oh. I'm dead. Yep. Oh my god, that was insane. I think I genuinely. I genuinely could have probably lived through that. Ah. That Q hit me. I need to I need to cut down right there. All good. So far. So far so good. Damn. Oh well. Oh! Nice. The passive got him. We could get like some beautiful like W flash to the side. That'd be cool too. I'll settle for the turret. Beautiful. Um don't have enough gold. Man. Looks like we're not getting the as active on this next one. But yeah, at this point, I think something to note ooh, while my team decimates them is you do not want at any point, you do not want uh, to split push if any other champion can. You don't pick Akali to split push. You, you pick Fiora or like, I don't know, just any other champion to split push. Um, Akali is so strong in team fights. We go for Rocket Belt to be useful in team fights. That proto belt, or sorry, that rocket belt is gonna help us get into the carries, into the back line. I mean, this is, uh. Ah. Uh, honestly, not worth. I do what I could. I don't think. Ouch. Yeah, damn. If that hit, that's still good though. What is that? That's going to be a shutdown, but it's three for three. Plus, we get the turret. Oh no. It was the opposite of what you want to be doing. All good. All right. Yeah. The thing is. At this point, we're breaking turrets left and right. But I do need to slow down on the aggression. I think... I didn't expect Vayne... Ooh, I didn't expect Vayne to be there at that exact moment. Wow. Yep, Mordekaiser is a champion. Considering taking the plant, I think I'm just gonna run. Oh no. I could have zoned it, but I think I would have just died right after. I didn't realize she'd have heal. That's lame. Damn. You got a lot. You got some free kills this game. Not going to be taking objectives, I suppose. Yeah, we got to get that. That could hit. Nope. Alright. Get the execute. Hmm. Yeah, not the best situation to be in. I kind of tried to pick up the scraps and ended up not being able to secure the kill. I didn't realize John would have heal, but... Then my E missed as well, which would have been a guaranteed kill, but just slightly missed it. Yeah, he pulled it. I mean, this should be a free kill. I nearly got her psychological backstep. She almost ran right into my E.
Ooh. All right. We distracted him long enough. We get the Baron. Yeah, honestly, that was the only reason I even fought Echo to begin with. Because I figured there's five people bought. If I just keep them going, I might be able to trade one for one, too. I'll take it then. Yeah. And plus, like, I don't know, with all the mobility, all the one-shot potential on this champion, the Shroud to bait and, like, waste their time. Oof. Alright, it's time to run. Yeah, unfortunately, at this point, Zed has gotten quite fed. Highly unfortunate. But yeah, honestly, I'm excited for the new season. We are currently 10-0. Not even, like, playing flawlessly, but just kind of, like, having the right idea. With, like, the fundamentals on, like, what to do. We're not overly playing aggressive free 6 I'm not, like, running it down. I'm Everything I do has an intention, for the most part. I might mess up an assassination, like, that'll look like an int, or that'll be an int, but... Nice. Beautiful. I do have to be careful though. Let's see. We can, uh, yeah, my zone use is up soon. I don't want to get one shot by Zed in the meanwhile. Yeah, looks like he's just pushing the wave. We get the double lane push. Zone use is up now, we're fine. I was kind of hoping he would try to jump in, just bait him out. All right. Oh my. Oh my. All right, we get him. I was going to say, that was a really weird play by Vayne right there. Did not need to fly back on, back on on that. Trying to get the wave in. Uh, I still have Zonia, so we can probably just keep doing it. Uh, we don't have Baron anymore. Let's get out of here. All right. Yep. We're at that point in the game. Where we awkwardly don't have enough for a Rapidons, but we we do have enough for is it for a Magi's. No, no, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. Not yet. If I get, if it was at ten sacks of Dark Seal, I think it's worth getting because you get that movement speed buff. But without it, I'm not so sure about that one. They're all. This will be a good flank, yeah. I I got Warwick ulted when I was gonna zone you. That's unlucky. Ooh, wait. That's good. Nice. Alright, that should be game then. Beautiful. By the way, guys, I am back to streaming every single day. I haven't full streamed full time in like two years, but I'm back starting January 1st. Twitch.tv slash Professor Kali. For anyone who's interested, um, it should be a really good time. I'm going to get Challenger. I'm going to make it a full video on all that stuff soon. Big announcement. Life post. But I think it's all ogre. Or is the enemy team now? Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how you play Calling in a nutshell. So hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to leave a like. Subscribe. And actually, I'll show the win rate right now on Akali. Because uh, this is before, too. Account. We're playing in like D1 right now, even though we're D4 MR. We are at 10 and 0. 
11 and 0 now. So leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and have a great day. Peace out.